Hey guys, I'm Jim. I edit photos. Thanks for stopping by. Today I'm showing you some tips for editing in color that are maybe not obvious. And in fact, that may be contrary to what most people may do with their colors in an image. Let's get into it. I've got a photo here. And I think when you see something like this, there's a lot of color in this image, but it's kind of dark. So I think a lot of people might come in and say, let me do some accent AI. And then let me come in here to color, really boost those colors, give a little saturation, maybe some vibrance. And you can see that it's not really looking particularly great. It's really still got a yellowy kind of tint. So maybe you go to light and you say, oh, well, let me pull the temperature back, cool that off a little bit. And again, still the colors just don't look right. And so I want to walk through what I did to this image and kind of some maybe non-traditional thinking that got me to a much better looking color image at the end. Let me hit reset and let's get into it. Okay, so first thing is I actually went into the exposure slider here in the light and I bumped that up a little bit. Um, I did add some contrast. I went to mid 40s, about 45 or so. Highlights are coming down all the way negative uh, 100, but shadows are going up by about 30. And those moves right there just helped quite a bit. Now I'm also gonna cool it off a little bit because as you can see, it's brighter, which is great, but it's also got a bit of a yellow tint. I don't really like that. I do wanna bring up some of the colors, but uh, I don't really want those uh, too much of that yellow uh, kind of tint overall. So the temperature slider I think has helped me a little bit. Let me check my notes. Yeah, that looks good. So let me show you the before and after. Too dark, that sort of thing. Now it looks a little bit better. And now this is where I'll go into Accent AI and give that a little bit of a boost. Now be careful because Accent AI, you start dragging it and gets really bright and it just accentuates what's there, right? It's not changing or adjusting colors. It's just bumping things up, more contrast, more saturation, kind of more over the top. So I'm gonna go pretty light, like about a 15. It gives it a little bit of a bump but it doesn't kind of go crazy, and I want to maintain uh, a, a sane look to this one. As much as I like my colors, I'm going very um, kind of traditional here, but I want to pop a few colors, and that's where I get into Color Harmony, and that's the tool that's really kind of saved my bacon on this one. A lot of times I'll go into Color Balance. I'm not going to do that here. I'm going to go into these other three tools and kind of walk through what I did. The first thing is I went about an eight on brilliance. Again, it's like uh, Accent AI. If you start dragging it or saturation, right, you get way too much. So I'm going pretty low, like an eight. But on warmth, I'm actually going to go negative 100. And that just kind of cools it off nicely. Now, it's got a little bit of a blue tint, but that's okay. Um, I think what I do with some of the other tools here in a minute is really going to offset that. But if you can't tell, lots of green, lots of yellow, lots of orange, lots of red. It's a fall image from a garden in Seattle, uh, Washington. And I just love all the color, but I really want the green to kind of be tamed a little bit. And I want the reds and the oranges to kind of pop. And so this next tool, Color Contrast, really comes in handy. So uh, you just drag the amount, and what it's gonna do is whatever hue you're on, I'm currently in the reds, it's gonna brighten that one, and the color that's opposite that on the color wheel is gonna get darkened. And so um, in dragging this to the right, you can see I'm getting a little bit brighter, nicer pop in those kind of reds, and I think that's looking pretty nice. Now the greens are kind of getting intense as well. We're gonna come back and sort, sort that out here, but let me show you so far, I've gone from that to that, and I think you can see, especially right around here, like these bushes are really starting to look good, which I think looks uh, nice. And the next thing I'm gonna do is cool this off with split color warmth, about a negative 45 or 50, something about like that. So I'm just cooling off those cool tones, making them cooler, for lack of a better word. So if I turn off color harmony before, and then color harmony after, I've got a much more subtle and I think beautiful color look than I would have had if I just did saturation, vibrance, or just any of the individual HSL settings here in the color tool with Accent AI. I just get more control over that. And this is where I do come back to the color tool. And here I'm gonna give it like a, maybe a three on saturation and maybe like a 15 on vibrance. I just wanna go, again, kind of gentle, don't wanna go over the top, but wanna take it easy. And I think the colors are looking really nice. And then I can come in here and play with the luminance. Uh, I'm gonna play with the green lumin luminance. I'm gonna pull that down a little bit because uh, at zero, uh, you know, untouched, if you will, the green's a little too bright, a little too saturated. I'm gonna pull that down, darken that a little bit. And that further creates a little bit of contrast between those kind of greenish, kind of cooler colors and those warmer colors that I'm trying to accentuate. And so then I could come into saturation, maybe pull that down a little bit on the green as well and maybe pop a little bit of saturation here on the yellows and oranges and reds. Just a little bit, I don't wanna go over the top. It's a overall pretty colorful image, lots of different colors kind of across the whole color spectrum. I got blue, I got yellow, red, orange, green, lots of those kind of things. But 
I think those kind of changes, which I think have been small and subtle, but in combination really add up, have gotten me to a point where I've got, I think, a much better looking color image than I would have had if I had just done like kind of the traditional, oh, Accent AI to brighten it, give it a little pop, and then the, you know, uh, color tool with saturation and vibrance to really just jump those colors up. And so for me, I think it was really this color harmony that really set me on that path. And let me show you what it did. If I turn that off, yellow, kind of flat, kind of the like yellow tint across the photo, kind of flat, lacking contrast, things like that. But I think it looks a lot better now, a lot sharper in terms of how the colors differentiate, the color contrast really, between those warmer tones and some of those cooler, kind of the greenish blue tones. Very different because of color harmony. So use that as a uh, something that, uh, like a, a you know an arrow in your quiver, so to speak. You know, it's part of your toolkit here, using this color harmony uh, slider or the sliders and the different tools in color harmony to really get the colors to work. For me, it just made all the difference in the world. That's the image before I did anything. That's the image now. And if I do the before and after, and uh, obviously I brightened it and things like that, but I think the main difference in the color was right there with color harmony. And as you can see. Even with the other stuff that I did, it just wasn't getting there. Color Harmony really saved the day. So consider that as an option when you're trying to adjust colors. Hope it gives you some ideas, my friends. Thanks for stopping by. Hope you're doing well out there. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you next time. And adios.